Hey guys, it's Kendra from Puget Sound Pythons. Um, I'm here today with clutch number two of the 2019 season. Um, now, before I get started, this was like one of my most anticipated clutches um, just to prove out the male. Uh, so it was a pied female and she was bred to a Enchi hypo and then 66% possible het pied male. So let's get into it. So we're actually day on day, oh, we got two pips here. We're on day 59. Um, so I'll hold these guys up for you. So here's first pip and then the second pip, that one looks a little promising, honestly. So, remove all the straws. And just for FYI, I actually use straws, just cut up straws to hold eggs in place. Um, to prevent them from rolling and whatnot. So, we'll get started here. I guess we'll start with this one. So I was really hoping to prove out this male this season just to see because I'm shooting for hypopides in the future. Um, so if I can prove him out, that'll jumpstart me with a couple more animals for the collection. So, oh wow, moving around a bit. Um, this is just a normal art, probably actually an Enchi. Oh, there's his head. Or her head. Either or. Welcome to the world. So I'm going to go ahead and leave this one alone, even though it looks like it's ready to come out. All right, on to egg number two. Oh, this one's... All right, all right, all right. Scissors suck. All right, I give up. Oh, wow. All right, guys, well, I think I just proved him out. Egg number two here. Let's see if we can get the lighting right. That almost looks like an Enchi Pied, but I only see a little bit of white there. I don't know if you guys can see it back there. So, ooh, wait to see once he comes out or she. All right, egg number three. My handy dandy scissors. Sorry guys, been out of camera here for a minute. Oh, all right, well, dad is 100% hat pied. So that's pretty awesome. So, this will for sure, at the very least, be a pied, sorry guys, be a pied, I don't know if it's Enchi quite yet or not, I'll wait till he cuts out, but um, we'll be 100% het hypo. So, depending on the gender, I might keep this one guy back. All right, so looking like good odds so far. On to egg number four. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm trying to jump out of the egg here. Oh, wow. All right, guys. Hit on another pied. You guys can see the white on the back end there. Wow. 
This is awesome. Whew. Best clutch so far this season. Not that there's been very many, but <laughs> so far, this is pretty good odds. Oh, and I had to jinx myself. That's all right. All right, no more pies. <laughs> all right, so this is probably just a normal or enchi. I can't really tell quite yet. I like to I like to wait till they're out of their eggs, you know, and have at least their first shed before I make a definition of what genetically some of these animals are. Oh wow, you're just taking off, huh? All right, so the last egg of the clutch. Let's see if I can get. All right, so it looks like another normal or and or enchi. This one looks really dark though, so I'm probably gonna say this is just a normal. Don't worry about all that blood, it's just from the veins, not from the animal. It happens, no big deal. So, well, we got pretty good odds considering three and three. So we'll take a look. At the second egg there, one more time. So that is pretty cool. All right, guys. Wow, I'm pretty excited. That's awesome. So I will let these guys, I'll remove the egg crate off camera and everything. Um, I'll leave these guys in here until they completely out of the egg. Um, and then I will set them up in a bin to shed out. Um, I actually have the first clutch here. And they're all about to go into shed. So they're pretty dark right now. But this is the basic setup I have for these guys once they're out of the egg. Just a V18 tub full of damp paper towels. Um, I wait for them all to shed. And then at which point I then separate them, sex them, put them into their own bins, um, and go from there. So, wow, I'm blown away. This is pretty cool, guys. Anyway, um, drop a comment down below. Um, let me know, I don't know, what your favorite morph is for ball pythons, I guess, or what, what you're hoping to get in the future if you're, if you're just starting your collection or if if you're already a breeder, what's your, you know, what's the thing you're anticipating this season? Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm also on Instagram and Facebook, um, Puget Sound Pythons. So, all right, guys, till next time. Bye.